Hello, everyone out there. Welcome to this week's broadcast from the West Coast. My name is Chitra, and I'm pleased to be with my colleague Neera. Hello, Neera. How are you? Hi, Chitra. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, undergoing the strange summer, spring that we've had, including staying on top of all this COVID-19 updates, with things changing, BC now um, pretty much in the lead with cases, I think. I don't know what's going on here. And then the ever-changing immigration news. So I'm glad, I'm always glad to be a part of this broadcast and to share some of the latest information. So why don't we get started? Go ahead, Chitra. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm super excited about some long-awaited changes for visitors who are in Canada. Now, temporary public policy has announced, was announced by the minister this week, especially for those with visitor status in Canada who arrived before August 24, 2020. And they can apply for employer-specific work permits online without needing to leave the country first. We saw a lot of people were waiting for this and you know, they didn't know how to apply for this. So I think this is really great news. Now, this policy, especially for those visitors in Canada who have a valid job offer, uh, that is employer specific. And this will be able, they will be able to receive the permit without leaving the, having to leave the country. This change is effective immediately. Uh, this will benefit both the employers as well as the temporary residents who are eager to work and contribute and the employers who are having difficulties finding the right workers. Maybe Nina, you want to elaborate more on this? Yeah, yes, yes, of course, Chitra, thank you. I think this is long awaited news and it's it's changing for our Canadian immigration system. Uh, first of all, to be eligible, you have to be under the public policy. So some of the things that the applicant has to have, they have to have valid status in Canada as a visitor on August 24th, 2020, and remain in status in Canada, and they have to be inside of Canada. Again, I think you stated that. They have to have a job offer, whether it's LMIA or LMIA exempted offer. You have to submit the application for an employer specific work permit that is supported by the LMIA, the labor market impact assessment, or an LMIA exempt offer of employment no later than March 31st, 2021. And of course, they have to meet all other standard admissibility criteria and qualifications for the job that they're being offered. Chitra? Yeah, isn't this a great news for people who are in limbo? And normally, you know, they would try to go for flag polling and they're not sure whether they can do a flag polling or not. And they keep debating what to do, but now they have a way out for this. Um, you know, I have a client actually who got approved for LMIA uh, two months ago and, you know, he was not able to flag poll or exit Canada. So now this person can submit a work permit application within Canada, as well as they may be able to work within uh, in case, uh, you know, they meet certain requirements like being physically present in Canada uh, on August 24, 2020. Uh, but they have to remember if they leave after uh, 2024, uh, 24, like August 24, and they can't return and apply this way, they will not be able to work. So they they must be physically present on August 24th. And also they must have held a valid work permit that was valid in 12 months before they apply for a new work permit. I think this is really good new, uh, news for people who may be struggling financially and great for employers too, who need workers. Um, I think the good piece of advice is to make sure that the client qualifies and meets all the requirements so their work permit does not get turned down. Neera, maybe you can give more examples. I think I have a couple examples within my firm that we've had, um, we've had people here that had work permits before. And with those work permits expiring, with the time that it was taking for them or the LMIA application procedures, they had to go into visitor status. So these applicants are already here, now they've gone on to visitor status. And flight polling was, as you said, so up in the air. So we had to resort to applying for applications outside Canada. But outside Canada, you're still looking for biometrics, but if you're inside of Canada, there's no biometrics inside of Canada. So those applications are stuck. So personally within my firm, I've got about five clients, which now we're going to be switching over from the outside Canada application, probably withdrawing those applications and submitting these applications online from within Canada. And this is, it's, it's an amazing opportunity for those applicants. They're stressed. They've been out of jobs for three to six months. The employers don't have employees at the moment working. 
and again with the uncertain times and with what is happening with COVID, it's very hard for some employers to find local um, staff that's willing to work outside of their homes. So many of them that have been stuck, I think IRCC bringing in this announcement will open up venues for those clients and especially those visitors that have been in Canada visiting are unable to return to home countries but financially not able to support themselves. So if they have a valid yeah. offer of employment, this will create an avenue of revenue for them as well. So I believe um, this change that's coming in, uh, let's see how it goes past March, but at this moment in time, it was much needed. So again, we want to reiterate that to make sure that clients meet all the requirements, check all the links um, that will be online once, um, once this is posted to myconsultant.ca. Again, you guys, it's wonderful being here. Uh, we with these updates with Capex team working so hard to keep everybody in the loop with all these changes, these and new announcements, programs being added, programs being taken away. So I recommend and I encourage you guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, thank you everybody for watching this. Remember to follow us on our YouTube channel for more updates. And Jitra, it's always a pleasure presenting with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nira. Thank Good you, everyone. Thank you.